Yep. Um, is this the playoff beard that you've got working right now? <laughs> this is just my is my Stanley attempt Cup? at making my wife annoyed, and then her being like, "I don't know, I kind of like it." And I was like, "All right, well, I'll keep it." Because it's, it's got it's a very Lebowski type look you've got going on right here. Uh, have, have you heard that? Yeah. It's, is that a you know like I'm, you're right? It is. It's you kind of got that going. I know. I I, I I I was I was the big Lebowski for Halloween in college one year. Were you? <laughs> Of course. I mean, everybody felt like at some point it was the big Lebowski. It was a dude at some point in college. And I had like a white Russian in a robe and I did the whole thing. And it was a hit. I was like, you know, I always make the joke that I look more like Jeff Bridges than I look like my dad. Sometimes, you know. And so, like, so you do was, have a real Jeff Bridges Lebowski look about you right now, man. I know. And look, I'm that's I, a compliment. So, thank you. You're welcome. Um, but, <laughs> so, no, dude. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I couldn't ever. The reason I grew a beard is because I was 18. No, I was, yeah, seven, 17, yeah. 18. I was going to be the captain of my hockey team and, uh, or one of the captains, one of the leaders of the team. And, I had a baby face like no one would you know respect me I thought so I was like I'm gonna grow a beard like I'm gonna really try and grow a beard so I went I grew a beard yeah I put just for men in it to <laughs> color it brown and then it went out and then shaved the rest I was like okay the beard's not really but maybe I'll do like a handlebar mustache and then so I shaved into this like horrible handlebar mustache so it was like peach fuzz handlebar with you know just for men but it like kind of worked <laughs> it did yeah it was like i don't know i was just maybe it's totally psychosomatic and completely born from insecurity but then i never i never I didn't have a beer because it was like oh people you know think i'm wise but why <laughs> why do you go jfm is for you know people my age you know like because just, i didn't you couldn't see it unless i put <laughs> just for men in there <laughs> you could see the beard funny thing is one one year <laughs> Uh, when I on, on when I was on Sports Center uh, back in the late '90s, um, they didn't want their anchors to wear facial hair. I, I, I really, I, yeah. I went on vacation and I didn't shave, so I I came back and I shaved it into a goatee. But my problem was Wyatt is that my mustache and the beard wouldn't connect. So I had to draw. Right. I had to draw it in. Oh wow! You yes. did, and, and then you went I, for it. And then I got back to my desk after the sports center, and I got a few voicemails from fans and people that I know saying, "Like, why did you go on the air with S all over your face?" <laughs> it's funny. And that was the end of my goatee. I had one and done facial hair of right. sports center. That was That's the end good. of that. <laughs> no, dig that up. It'll so be I can totally to understand out. that. What? What? Uh, you were a goalie? Is that what you were? <clears throat> I was a goalie. So why did you need uh, why did you need facial hair with the mask on? I don't understand. It was for my own team. <laughs> <laughs> it was for my own team. For my own respect play. within the locker room. Yeah, it wasn't I was for your young. Part. Okay. Uh, you know, okay. When you're playing junior hockey, you play. You know, there's 15 to 21. <laughs> okay. Depending on who's like aging out. So like when you're right. that 17, 16, 17 year old to 21 age gap is a really big age gap. Okay. You know, there's the 21 year olds are men. And okay. Seven, uh, me as a 17 year old was still a boy. Right. Um, so you had to be able to, you know, like, I don't know, I find some sort of edge to be able to, to get the respect of some of your teammates or mm -hmm. the younger guys. I don't know. It was a stupid thing to do, but it, it seemed to help me. And we had a great season and finished second in Canada. So it worked. Wow. So what uh, was, so what was more <clears throat> realistic, uh, of, uh, for hockey? You with the just for men beard <laughs> within your locker room or uh -huh. your, or your dad is Herb Brooks. What was more realistic? Yes, my dad is Herb Brooks. I mean, What's my, a, more, more than more than the well, my beard. dad is Herb Brooks was a really interesting thing because um, they want the, the, a lot. Uh, they filmed it in Vancouver when I was playing junior hockey there, uh, so they would come to s sometimes after games, like an Abbotsford we had a game, and they would they were shooting there after we'd play, so there was the crew was there and whatever and and uh, watching our games. Some of the players, one of the players from our team left to go be like a extra in, in you know, the movie. For a Russian or something like that? Yeah, or for like, like team that? like, you know, Sweden. Or Finland, or Finland or something. For, for, something. The, for the Finns? To like fill okay. out the other teams. So, and they wanted me to go to be uh, one of the goalies to help out. It was, you couldn't do it unless you, you know, quit the team. So it was like, there's no way that's going to happen. But the director, Gavin, and my goalie coach, Paul, and my dad all you know, did a really great job of basically saying, if you don't, if you haven't played college hockey, yes. th don't come out for the tryout. Like if you haven't played college hockey, don't, don't, don't. Try out for the movie you're talking Try about. Try out for the movie. Okay. Um, so they started at a point 
which I think every movie should start with, a sports movie, but specifically hockey. Um, if you can't play, don't, you're not going to, no matter how great of an actor you are, don't worry, you're not going to make it. So all those players in the movie could really play. Like they were real, really good hockey players, all of them, for the most part, I think everyone. And so the realistic aspect you feel in that movie is because they're all hockey players, all of them. Right. They all played either professional hockey or division one college hockey. And, uh, and so realistic realism in that movie is like very high. And my dad was a professional sport, the athlete. Mm -hmm. Gavin would come to our practices and games and, you know, they really understood the sport. Like it wasn't just people trying to go make a movie because they thought it was fun and cool and Disney. It was like they really, really got it right. Well, I mean, the movie's spectacular. Uh, but so, hold on a minute. So Wyatt Russell is between the pipes in this barn yeah. in Canada. And it was a barn, Playing yeah. an actual... Abbey. Hockey, hockey game, yeah. professional hockey game. Uh, or, or junior hockey game. Junior hockey game, yeah. okay. So Wyatt Russell's in between the pipes in this barn in a junior hockey game, mm. after which Kurt Russell would get on that same ice yeah. as Herb Brooks to shoot the movie Miracle. Yes. Uh, that didn't happen every night. But no, that, but, but that, but has, that a happened. A couple times, yeah. That Damn. Happened. Yeah, it was kind of fun, kind of weird. I know. What are the odds, right? I mean, I know, I, you know, that, that you was part be... of him doing the movie. I think was that I was playing, I was playing a lot of uh, hot, you know, I was playing, I was living in Vancouver playing hockey, and so that when they said, "Well, do the movie," you know, "Do you want to do this movie?" It was going to be done in Vancouver, and that was part of what was cool. And so he actually trained. He couldn't skate very well, but he just needed to skate like a coach, you know. So he would come <laughs> out while we were practicing on Saturdays at Great Pacific Forum, GPF. My goalie coach, a couple other goalies, we practiced at like seven a.m. on Saturday, just goalie practice yes and uh he would come out and skate around and like you know we'd kind of like be like no you when you make a tight turn like you gotta make a tight turn just a quick little tight turn you gotta mm -hmm. make it look like it's nothing you know and and feed somebody a puck like you know nonchalantly so <laughs> he was working on stuff like that while we were i was actually practicing like my real that's amazing yeah that had to be great for you it was right? so much fun because he was very involved in my hockey as a, as a, you know, he was with sports mentally. Like he played professional baseball. Whole family played pro ball. My, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, yeah. He played for the Angels and the Padres. Uh, my dad's an unbelievable athlete. Um, my cousin Matt Franco. He played for the for the Cubs and the Mets and the. Sure. You know, you know Matt. Of course. Uh, and he's uh, your cousin. Yeah, he's my cousin. Um, greatest dude in the world. My my, you know, my my cousin Franzi has has like NCAA soccer records. Um, my, my aunt Jill, uh, was the first, I think one of the first women ever asked to race IndyCar, uh, -huh. uh, you know, they both, they have like IndyCar or they have, um, uh, racing world championships and stuff. And they're, they're big sports family. Everybody loves sports. Right. Uh, and had success in, in, in athletics. So, um, I was supposed to be a baseball player. I'm much, 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 much more genetically inclined to play baseball than I am hockey. I just didn't like hockey quite, uh, baseball quite as much. It wasn't. It didn't fit my personality quite as much as as hockey did. Um, so I went that direction and had a lot of success and and built. You know, made me made me totally who I am. Uh, still, some of my best friends in the world from when I played hockey and keep in touch with a lot of the guys and got really cool thing was able to do. Uh, and at first I was like, this is gonna suck. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna get destroyed. What's that? Uh, Cam Talbot was playing in the all-star game. Cam and I were goalie partners in University of Alabama in Huntsville. And, you know, I haven't seen him in a while. And I've been following his career. It's so awesome to, to see how unbelievably great his career's been. Mm -hmm. And they asked me to come do this, like, celebrity goalie thing against uh, Trevor Zegras. Mm -hmm. I'm the goalie that Z... Remember, the, I mean, I don't know if you guys remember the Zegras play with one hand at the at the all-star game. Where he, it went, like, viral. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was an insane, I yeah. mean, it's unbelievable what that guy can do with the puck. Yeah. And uh, so I got, like, I'm the guy in net. I was like a celebrity goalie. So I got to go do that and be on the same ice as Cam again. And say, so you're hey. like the Washington general to his globetrotter yes. right <laughs> exactly. there? Exactly. Even, <laughs> even so much so, I'm going to blow him up right now, but even even so much so that in the in the day, bef in the you know, three hours before, there, there, is. there he is. They, they they had uh, a couple of guys trying to figure out what is he going to do and you know how's he gonna, and he was like you got to let me score I'm like you're an NHL all star I <laughs> I played score. hockey 14 years ago wearing all of Bill Ranford's gear because he was my goalie coach <laughs> I called Bill and I was like 
<laughs> I don't have any gear. Can you lend me gear? So he was like, yeah. So I'm wearing all Bill Ranford's gear in that picture. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.